A recent report showed only one other state is feeling the effects of the federal shutdown more than New Mexico. But it's not just government workers taking a hit. New Mexico has more than its fair share of businesses that rely on federal contracts. Here's News 13's Rebecca Atkins with a look at how one of them is being affected. Well, Kim, the company I visited today specializes in border security, and now a shutdown over border security is keeping them from getting paid. This is national security we're talking about. We're not playing games. We have to do it. It's now day 21 of the government shutdown, and there is no end in sight. My home state of New Mexico is one of the states that is being hit the hardest by the president's temper tantrum. On Monday, Senator Tom Udall spoke on Capitol Hill about New Mexicans who have reached out to him about the shutdown. These are real people. Real people wondering how they will make their mortgage or rent payments or feed their families. Among the many people and businesses that have written letters to Udall for help is ADC, LTD, and M, which provides services, including background checks for federal agencies like the Defense Department and Homeland Security. The effect of the shutdown has been uh, tremendous. The checks have stopped coming, and since they are contracted, they won't get back pay once the shutdown does end. I think the last uh, payment we got from the government was uh, the second week in December. They've been dipping into their reserves to stay afloat. Each of these families that we have, the 2,700, there's two and a half people per family. So now we're talking with one company, one little company in the state of New Mexico. The impact is over 7,000 people. ADC says come Monday they will be reducing their workers' hours, but wouldn't say by how much. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Rebecca.